I get asked a lot, what is a heart attack? Well, in the strictest terms, a heart attack is when a patient has a blockage of one of their heart arteries. That then causes some strain and damage to the heart muscle until blood flow is restored to the muscle. So when we see a patient who has pain in their chest, feels very unwell, it is possible that they may be experiencing a heart attack, but we wouldn't be able to confirm the diagnosis until we've done some other tests. For instance, this might involve doing an ECG or an electrocardiogram, a very simple, readily available test, which is a paper tracing of the electrical activity of the heart. Blood tests are also uh, very useful, but ultimately there's nothing better than seeing the patient in person to try and get the right diagnosis. I get asked very often, doctor, what's my cholesterol? How bad is it? How good is it? Well, cholesterol has sadly got a bit of a bad reputation, but it's not all bad. We all need cholesterol to keep our vital cells, organs, tissues, body healthy, and cholesterol is used to make the essential hormones in our body. However, we've known for many decades that high cholesterol particularly the bad cholesterol, referred to as LDL, can cause furring up of the arteries all over the body. That can lead to, in the heart, heart disease, coronary disease, such as heart attacks. What we all need to know is that cholesterol, half of it probably comes from our diet, and about half is just due to the way that we're made up. The word anarrhythmia is used a lot. It means a lot of things to a lot of people. In the strictest term to a doctor, it means a change in the heart rhythm. However, what we're all worried about, doctors, patients alike, particularly heart specialists, is whether there is a true, potentially serious change in the heart rhythm. And that can be called an arrhythmia or dysrhythmia. Very rarely, changes in your heart rhythm can occasionally lead to more serious conditions. For instance, stroke, with a particular rhythm disturbance called fibrillation. And also, occasionally, serious changes in the heart rhythm, sometimes very fast or very slow, can cause a blackout, loss of consciousness, which can obviously be very serious. So it's always wise not to ignore symptoms of palpitations, a change in the heartbeat, and see your GP or a specialist, particularly if they make you feel unwell.